Hey everyone, Colin Shallow back to make some more bowls. Back to making bowls again. I actually started out to make another one of those pieces where I combine two other pieces together to make one, but uh, it ended up collapsing on me, and instead of calling it a day and saying that I hate ceramics and pottery, I re the stuff, made three new pieces of clay, and decided to make some bowls instead. So I went back in them. Going to make some more of these cutout bowls that I made in a previous video. So this is the uh, the second video of the, of, that I've made of this, but the, the first bowl in this series here. So um, the problem with uh, with re-wedging a lot of the stuff is that you get a lot of air bubbles. And I had a ton of air bubbles in here. I wedged the clay for a while and still is just there's still some small ones in here. So um, I'd have to go through and and take the needle tool and, and pop some of these air bubbles and try to come back and smooth them together again. But it, it also makes for some inconsistent throwing. But it turned out to be okay. It was fine. My tops were a little bit wobbly, but not too bad. So my goal for this first one was to kind of make one that really um, flared out at the top. So I wanted to make sure the inside was nice and round as usual, using the rib tools to make a nice smooth up and down and back up shape at the bottom so you don't have any like divots or any uh, pits in the bottom of the bowl. It's just a nice rounded over shape. And I'm taking this giant wooden rib that I have. It's great for really bending the stuff uh, on, on big bowls. So it really bends it up really well. So here after it's dried, I've centered it back up, turned it over, and I'm going to carve the foot on. Um, with these guys, you don't need a ton of clay to, to trim these. You just need enough to kind of uh, hold it on there so it doesn't go flinging off to the side. As long as you have a really sharp tool, um, you don't need a lot of clay. If your tool is dull in any way, here mine came off center here just for a minute, but I tapped it back in place. Um, if it's dull in any way, it'll, it'll catch onto the clay and then it'll come flying off and you'll lose your piece, which has happened to some of my students uh, in my classes. And they're certainly not never happy when it happens because at this point you're so close to being done and to have it fly off the wheel at this point is just devastating. So uh, I'm using a variety of tools here, just kind of round it over. Um, and then uh, always back with the, uh, the rib tool at the end just to kind of smooth everything out. Anything I can't get the rib tool, I'll go through and get with uh, my finger just to kind of smooth out any uh, tool marks. So I didn't really know what kind of cutouts I wanted to do here. I kind of do these on the fly and kind of figure out what I want. So um, in this case, I, I just started out with a, a square shape and went through and tried to use the same size and traced it all the way around so I can get um, I think I have eight squares going all the way around this and then I thought I would uh, bracket these squares in by putting um, some lines at the top here some lines on the bottom and then making kind of these bracket shapes that would uh, go around each one so you can see here that I'll go down and cut kind of a backward C out of this one and I thought I'll do it right next to it but then I realized that it would not leave much support with these guys you have to have some clay support I have made these bowls before where I started cutting out too much and then the bowl just collapses um, it's not enough to support the rim so basically what I'm doing is I'm going to do brackets but I'm going to do it around every two as opposed to around every one here so um, it'll bracket four sets around the bowl um, and what that leaves is that middle part there um, and the space around the, the brackets to, to support the uh, top part of the rim and actually the bottom part as I'm carving here. So up, oh, you can see there, I, I was almost all the round. And as I was cutting that, I'm like, just don't screw this up. And I, I put it in the wrong spot. But luckily, this tool was really sharp. And it was just a matter of um, sealing it back up on the inside and the outside. So I thought there was too much space left over here in the middle. So I took my circle cutters here and went through and decided to do these circle shapes in between as well and they kind of add a nice little decorative element to that spot as well. Running a sponge over everything and kind of smooth it all out and then of course I had to go back and use my little um, my little mark tool here to kind of make a top and bottom line to kind of show where these guys are and of course since I ran the sponge over it I make these little uh, I don't know what you can call them. They're annoying little bits of clay that never want to come off until the piece is dry so I'm just recentering it here and I also do it on the inside um, I think as well. No, I just smooth it out. But I, I did go back later on and put some chatter marks on the top and a, a little uh, line on the top there as well to kind of indicate where the chatter marks stop and start. So cool little cutout bowl. I have a couple more of these coming, so I hope you enjoyed this one. 